All right, here you go. This is random. I don't know. You had a lot of spots cancel, Gary Hutton. It looks like some turn green. All right, someone in someone in this break is going to get one of these. This is a Top Shelf Breaks Juan Soto exclusive. Is there another elite? Is there another baseball? I'm going to take the Bowman people and whatever other baseballs tonight and I'm going to give away this one of one Matt Yerkes Top Shelf Breaks Super Fractor Soto Oz, congratulations on hitting your Michael Jordan 86-87 Fleer PSA 8 is it PSA? And that's just ridiculous. What's the estimated retail value on that? So I'm going to open these up, guys. I'll j do the old TSP scramble. No music tonight. Just We got a lot of breaks to get to. Yeah, dude, you hit Blitz Mix spots. You hit some monsters. I mean, it's proof you just got to click it to hit it. $2,400 Australian dollars? You didn't pay $2,400 for a spot, did you? You don't even like spending $25 on break spots. You spent $2,500? No, you didn't. <coughs> Wild Style. It was a great-ass movie. Let me tell you, dude. It's the best. Oh, Gary Hutt. Oh, so you won a $2,500 spot. That's sweet. I have a sweet EBW up. Get in the Blitz Mix. Guys, should we do a case of this Elite? It's 80 hits after Christmas. What should I do? I have a case of this, which is 20 boxes. I'd love to do a case break. I have to look here when I do this. See what if, I think there's an international spot and there's actual teams on the cards. We can do it and then make a USA spot maybe. So USA spot, international, and teams. Well, how much is the Jordan worth? I'd, I'd sell Hogan a personal case of it. Prism's next. Basketball. Rob's favorite. Number 25, Genesis. I need skinny minis. Two hundred and forty spots at ten bucks. Number to twenty five, Genesis. Number to ten, Roberto Ramos. Colorado, St. Louis. So there's teams in here. What 
What if I did the whole case, which is 20 boxes? That's, uh... Is that 160 hits? <laughs> Damn, one of 10, DJ Wilson. On card, DJ Wilson, Gary Hutt. Oh, worth 20. I thought an 86, 87 Fleer Jordan 8 would be worth, like, thousands. Jose Pena, international player, 199er. And Simeon Woods is to 9.99. Gary Hutt. Hutt, Hutt, Hutt. Here you go, Jay Sauce. Is every card serial numbered in here? Let's see. I guess it is, Oz. Good point. Number to 25, Jason Schroeder. Sweet, that's still very cool though. I'm not knocking it. I think that's awesome because that's it's one more uh, Jordan rookie eight that you have than I don't. There's Yandel Mateo. Did you get those white boxes? Yeah, I got dope ones. You should see them. They were the wrong size, but they're better. They're wider. They are in the cards like I sent one to Neil, and uh, he was the first one to use them. And they were, they're perfect. Those are wider like this. They're wider and they're deep. So they're deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide. There's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Um, so yeah, they're dope. Nick Sandlin. First I was like, they look a little weird. And then I put them together and uh, the universe smiled upon me. So yeah. Eric Cole, Kansas City to nine ninety nine. Yeah. Six forty seven of nine ninety nine. What do you say they were? Like seventy cents? Seventy some cents. I think it was forty four, forty six dollars for fifty of them. I could do a serial number ninety nine dollar serial number, whole case, it's eighty hits. That's what I'm going to do, because Oz is a freaking genius. We can do 0 through 9 serial numbers. Except we can't, because this card's not serial numbered. So there goes that idea. Wah, 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 wah. J-Sauce. Damn, I was excited. Number two, a hundy, Wade Infante, Gary Hutt. Here's a green Corey Ray to 25. I mean, I suppose I could random the non serial numbers. No, I just looked at one that wasn't. Here's Louis Robert, 73 of 99. Home of Bryce Harper. Chicago White Sox. Is that you always tell me that, Rob? What? See, this is not numbered. USA. I think I could just random... Could random I'll come up with something for the non serial there's not many that are not serial numbered. Martin But I think that'll be fun. Yeah but the non serial number problem is is you could maybe get a monster player non serial numbered and then everyone will be like oh dude Nico Herner number to one fifty Nico Herner number to one Yeah, I'll figure something out. You could look at that patch. This stuff has great patches, especially when they're numbered to ten, like this. Five of ten, Lucas Urseg. That's a good one. Damn, Gary Hutt. Who's coming tomorrow? Um, his name's Frank. Oh, is he the one that he was uh, packing the one time? He was packing the one time. Yeah, <laughs> he's the guy that did our backyard. He works for a uh, landscaping company. 
Owen Miller. Not numbered. Dude. Joe Gray. 646 at 999. I'm going to do the whole freaking case and just live large. I mean, Martin. That's why I have this here. And 707.87 of 9.99. Let me check with my director of break development, CEO and senior vice president, Anthony Carter. What do you think to do with this, a case? A case is 20 boxes. Half a case would be 10, that's 80 hits. I think it'd be fun to do 160 hits. <coughs> Master case break. There you go, KT Boggs. Well, why not just make a stack of the non-numbered hits? I'll make a stack over here. I'll keep them in the non-numbered hits. And what I'll do is I'll take the non-numbered hits and I'll log them into the randomizer. I'll take your names and we'll hit the randomizer and match them up. 299, Elias Montero. See, Bo Bichette would go in. I mean, most of them are numbered. It's like 90% are numbered. 10 of 49. This stuff has gotten better over the years. It used to be poo poo. Mason Denneberg. See, it's these, it's these cards that are not numbered. This, these X ones, or whatever they're called. Random it against the names. It looks like trout. Jameson Hanna is to 49. Yeah, that was Erica Badu. I need to get an auto of him. I have not pulled in Bo Bichette yet. I think there's one non, one or two non non numbered per per pack. somewhere right <laughs> new ones yeah yeah okay. I have a case of them <coughs> I will dignify that with a response I didn't have come on you gotta give me you gotta give me a response if I didn't have the longest day ever today maybe I had two hours of sleep yeah then I went to dialysis then I went to a doctor's appointment then I grabbed lunch from my car oh my god then I went to get my hair cut then I took a two and a half hour nap, then I came here. 
Well, I've been kind of running since three in the morning. <laughs> well, you're a trooper. Thank there you, sir. I do appreciate it, because, you know, how I get. I get enough stress going on as it is. I mean, like I said, I'd be here for four or five hours, and I can come much earlier tomorrow. Tomorrow, I only have a handful of things i got to do in the morning. My parents are leaving for Christmas. Thank God. I'm telling them. <laughs> Oh, and Rob says he's excited his parents are going away, getting out of his hair. Well, my sister and her husband will be around, but they're pretty cool. But like three years ago, it was literally Christmas by myself, and it was Maker's Mark and <coughs> crunching crunch berries in my underwear, watching Elf in the morning, and it's like, this is nice. That's yeah, good. Well, yeah, someone usually does do that in chat. I could have Tyson or somebody manage it. Well, that's a 6 eight one you have up by your computer. What? That's a six Saquon, see? Yeah, that's going to go in one of my gold quest breaks probably after Christmas. Man, you guys should see what Panini sent for the troops today. Yeah, that's impressive. I about fell over. I walked in this morning and there was a box the size of a refrigerator. Well, not that tall, but it was giant. It was about four feet tall box. And I'm like, what is this? I thought it was for another tenant. And I looked and it said Panini America. And I was like, okay, that's probably... So they sent a bunch of hobby boxes. Those are all 15 contenders boxes. There's baseball under there, Don Russ, all kinds of stuff. Then they sent thousands of these rows of cello packs of optic basketball and USA baseball, various things. And then they sent another one of these. I mean, it was pretty, pretty cool. They all came in this big box here. I mean, look at it. It takes up the whole chair. That's all packs. <laughs> so I already sent out one of them. You know, I already sent out one that you guys sent stuff in and a couple other distributors sent stuff. And that was a pretty big box. What the heck is this? Grammy. Oh, this is Grammy. Didn't make the cutoff. Oh, this is his racing. Racing. All right, let's do. Let's do. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you. Some lady came in. She goes, "Oh, what's that?" And I was like, "She goes, you all right?" I go, "Yeah, this is just cool. This is just <laughs> this is just really neat. That's what this is." I said, this is going over to the Middle East for the troops. And she's like, oh my God, that's so cool. Check these out. I don't know why these are heavy. These have some weight to them. Is there freaking basketballs in here? Bowman's done, dude. Bowman's done. You got all the hits. I wouldn't say anything big, but I would say that it was all right. Panini won football. Look at that, Brady. See that?
rainy. Thank God it's not snow. Huh? Thank God it's not snow. No, it's too warm. Yeah, it feels like very, April. I'm very, very happy that it's like 40, 42 degrees outside. It feels like spring. It does feel like spring. The other day I was driving around with my windows down. It was 50. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Like half, half of Naperville had their windows down. They were like, oh, look at this. It is. That's the fun thing about living in Chicago is that you really do get like climatized. Yeah, but you're getting excited in the springtime when the weather really starts to break and you're like... Oh, what, what else is over there that we need to do right now, Chris? Well, yeah, there's, there's, there's breaks in here. Yeah, there, you don't have sheets in the National Children's Breaks. The one says Fire Pit Break. NFL Draft Mini Mix. That's yeah. that needs sorting. Yeah. That bitch out. I opened that NT box and it just said Fire Pit. You know, it's yeah, I'll print the Fire Pit and I'll the Sunday football. That's Oz. Well, these are all different people. Oh, they're all different people? Okay. Yeah. Uncirculated slabbed base. Ah. Okay. Mick, I'm out, dude. I'm bringing it after Christmas, if you're listening. Mick or Stoles, my good friend. I kind of wanted to be 18 years old living in Lower East Side in 1979 or 80. I'd be dead. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people were. It's not even like funny or a question. I'd be dead. Christopher all day? Where the heck have you been? The Cali Kid, oh my god. Cali Kid, if you give me a minute, I can remember who your team is. You love your... Damn it, who is it? Baseball team? There's somebody he loves to collect. This is Prism Basketball, Luka Doncic Hunt. I'm going to do some triple teamers of this Absolute. How about an Absolute and a Prism Retail mix? Are you in the right chat, Christopher All Day? The Stars, that's right, Dallas Stars, absolutely. He's a Dallas Star fan. Vinnie Paul from Pantera was a huge Dallas Stars guy. Yep. Are they dope? They were dope. They threw the Stanley Cup off of Vinnie Paul's roof, broke it, and sunk it in a pool. So that's, that's my favorite Dallas Stars story. That sounds cool. Darian Hatcher and two other guys after they won the Cup were like, throw this off the roof, aim for the pool, and then make the pool. Hogan closed out. What the? F Such a difference of people who grew up uh, in New York City 
in that era versus the people who grew up in California, Southern California in that era. It's like the people in the 70s in New York, they're all freaking crazy, weirdo, psyched out dudes. And then in California, they were like smoking weed, surfing, chilling. All right, here we go. All right, here comes a Luca. A low-numbered Luca. 